Hello, welcome back to Storybook Crafts from the Alameda Free Library. This week we are going to be making a toilet paper roll squirrel. He's <laughs> so cute. And a pom-pom acorn inspired by the book Squirrel's Family Tree by Beth Ferry with pictures by A.N. Kang. This is a really lovely book that tells you all about what squirrels do to get ready for their long winters. Some of them sleep a lot, some of them actually still roam around during the winter. And what do they do with all those acorns? And how they help our environment by planting more trees. So let's make our acorn and our squirrel. What will we need today? A toilet paper roll, obviously. We're gonna need a little piece of white scratch paper, two pom-poms, some googly eyes, if you don't have those, you can of course just draw your own eyes. And some brown construction paper, and of course an acorn. We'll also need some glue. I'm gonna be using two kinds today. I'm gonna to use a glue stick and some white glue and scissors. Did I already mention the brown marker? We need a brown marker. If you have a black felt tip marker too, we can put that in there. That's optional. All right, let's get started. Let's get that strip of brown construction paper. Um, this is from a regular large piece of construction paper. Whatever size you have will do. Just one long strip. We'll make it curly at the end, so don't worry about that curl just yet. So go ahead and get your construction paper ready into the strip. Let's start with the white scratch paper. That is how I made the body here. So I will make a body shape. I'm going to line it up with my toilet paper roll and maybe use my brown marker here to decide on the shape of the body for my squirrel. Just like that. That looks great. All right, and then I'll cut it out. And I will make sure to cut inside the line I just drew because that line's a little messy. And when I cut inside of it, we won't even know. There we go, there's the body of my squirrel. I will make my squirrel's features. I'm going to do the mouth, and the paws, and the whiskers. Actually, I'll do the whiskers last because I won't know yet where the nose is going to go. But I am going to do the mouth. and the paws. So I've got two on the bottom, one here, color it in, one here, color it in, and two little arms right here, one right there, and one right here. Cute! This is where if you have a black felt tip marker or a sharpie, you can go in and draw little claws on there if you'd like. Squirrels do have claws. Don't get close to them, they're wild animals. Okay, there's the body of my squirrel. I'll go ahead and glue it on. And this is where I'll use the glue stick. Glue stick works really well on a toilet paper roll. Just get it all glued up. As much glue on there from the glue stick as you can get and find where you want it on your paper towel or sorry, toilet paper roll here. I'm gonna put it over the glue spot so we don't see the glue spot. There we go. Boom. Press it down and it'll dry up real quick. No need to wait for it to dry to do the rest of it. It's ready. Okay, let's do, mm, I'm gonna do the tail next. I'm going to reserve a little bit at the bottom. So I'm gonna cut one small piece here off of the tail for the ears. Put that aside. Let's find where we want to have the tail. I'm going to put it exactly opposite where I just glued the body. And this time I'm actually going to put the glue on the toilet paper roll. Because I just need one strip. I marked it with my thumb there. One nice gluey strip. And stick that strip of construction paper right on top. Rub it off. Perfect. All right, let's make it curly. Take your brown marker and just gently roll the paper.
paper around it, going towards the outside, so away from you. You're rolling away from you. Just a quick little roll like that, a little press. Voila, curly tail. Looking like a squirrel. All right, we need those ears. So here's that piece of paper that I reserved from the bottom of my tail. Two triangles should do it. This is kind of big. Depends on how big you want your ears. You can make them smaller if you wanted, but actually that size is kind of perfect. Line them up on the inside of the tube where you like them. Put a little bit of glue right on the bottom of the paper there. Where you lined it up. Stick it back inside. There's one ear. Let's do the other one. I'm going to line it up first to see how I like it. I want it to be opposite the other one. Yeah, just like that. So I'll put a little bit of glue right here. Stick it inside. Okay. My squirrel has ears. Now my squirrel needs a pom pom nose. And for this, I will use the white glue because it's a little easier to stick a pom-pom with that white glue. So a nice blob of white glue. There we go. Stick that pom-pom right on top. Really press it in. Now we need those Google eyes. I've got two sticky Google eyes here. If yours are not sticky, then of course put some glue on the back. These are sticky, so they will stick right on. One here, and I'll give it an extra press my finger to really stick it on there. Carefully peel that off. There we go. And stick the other eye on. Ooh, look out so far. And last but not least, I need some whiskers. Get your brown marker. And draw those cute squirrel whiskers. Right there. Next to your pom-pom nose. That's why we did the whiskers last, to make sure we knew where the pom-pom was going to go. The squirrel is done. He's so cute. He stands up. You can make yourself a whole little family based on our book, Squirrel's Family Tree. If you have more paper towel rolls, they can all look different. Maybe some of them will have smaller bodies, larger paws, smiley mouths, whatever you like. Now let's make this cute little acorn. You want to go on a nature walk and find yourself an acorn. There's all different kinds out there. You want the one that has a little hole inside of it so that you can stick the pom-pom inside. And again, we're going to use the white glue for this one. It's going to go really quick. Nice gloop of glue in there, just like that. Fill it up and then stick the pom-pom inside. You can even use the tip of your scissors or a pencil to help you stick that in there so it really stays. There we go. So cute. Okay, let it dry and you'll have some cute little acorns to match your cute little squirrel. See you next time on Storybook Crafts. Until then, please check the library for all the great books we have on squirrels and autumn and trees and leaves and Squirrel's Family Tree, which is one of my favorites. See you next time. Bye-bye.